is like the photo op of the century right here. Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. You know you want to do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're in Hollywood, California at the grand opening of the Funko store here on Hollywood Boulevard. You're not gonna wanna miss this. this, this, this I, I just oh looked gosh. through the window yeah. and it looks incredible. Come with us on this adventure. So Funko doesn't have a star on the Walk of Fame, but they do have a crown. This is so overwhelming already. Oh my god, there's Freddy Funko. Look in his bag, he has a Freddy Funko. Oh my god, there's a waterfall with the characters from Black Panther. This is crazy. Spider-Man's on the wall. Yeah, there, everywhere you look, there's like a gigantic figure. I see Sorcerer Mickey over there. Like, how many do you think we're gonna find? I mean, there's so many photo opportunities here, so many Instagram spots. I feel like that's gonna become a must-see thing if you were like he, here yeah, in Hollywood. Behind the cash registers, they have a whole mural with Funko Pops exploring the city of Los Angeles, which is kind of a neat nod to where the store is. They have a whole Guardians of the Galaxy themed area. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my god, did you see this? Uh... <laughs> this room is mainly for Guardians of the Galaxy, but it has all the Funkos and lounge slides for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, but you got everybody. You even got Gamora. Yeah, the best part about this place is it's not just Funkos. You've got lounge flies, you've got t-shirts, we got so many fun things, and this is only the first room that we've been in. Like, I'm so overwhelmed. Yeah, we've been to told that there's like 15 different rooms, so we gotta get we gotta get going. This is pretty cute, you guys. You know my lounge fly addiction. This is just this is cute, right? Look who I found right here. We got Captain America. We've got America's butt here at the Funko Store in Hollywood. <laughs> this is oh, incredible. Oh my gosh. Incredible. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, come on. Oh, look at Dobby up there. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> I love it. So you have some characters from Fantastic Beasts. You've got Newt. You've got the cute little Niffler. And then you've got this guy. I forget what this one is called, but he's very adorable. Okay, we're going on to another room. And this room is the DC Universe. We got Aquaman, we got Wonder Woman, we got Superman, we got Batman, Robin, and even Cyborg. They even got Cyborg. Cyborg. They even got Cyborg. <laughs> Our friend Greg just points this out, but it's cool that they actually have the Hall of Justice in the background of the DC characters. So you can get your photos not only with the Funko Pop DC characters, but also the Hall of Justice. So they originally opened up a Funko headquarters store in Seattle, and that one was like only 17,000 square feet. This is more than double the square feet. I think it's like 40 something, so it's, it's huge. You leave one room and you enter the next, and we stumbled upon the Little Mermaid room. This is so cool. You have Ursula and Ariel and Flounder and everyone here. Look at Sebastian and Flounder, they're so cute. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you say my collection's complete? Wouldn't you say I'm a girl? A girl who has everything. <laughs> we found the frozen section. Oh, look at Sven, so adorable. Is it just me or does it feel like extra cold in this section? <laughs> it feels like icy yeah, cold. Yeah, it feels like the AC is on in, yeah. the, in the frozen section. Oh, and look, there's Anna. Oh my 
god, you found something. Wait, am I allowed to go in here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of kitties in here. Are these from, what is this from? Is this from Frozen 2 or what is it from? I love how even the stuff that they stock the merchandise in is all themed. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> There's a T-Rex, a huge, like, what is that, 15 feet tall T-Rex from Jurassic Park, and the, the Jurassic Park Jeep with Ian Malcolm shirt off, of course. This is like the photo op of the century right here. Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. You know you want to do it. Uh, I'll let you do that. Oh, touch him. Okay, I thought you meant like lay like that. <laughs> so if Jurassic Park isn't your thing, maybe you can find your place at the rightful throne. I'm not talking about the Game of Thrones, I'm talking about the villain throne. There's so many Funko Pop characters here that there's even characters that I don't even recognize. I guess it's kind of like the Funko Pops themselves because there's a Funko Pop for everybody. The next room, I just got a tiny little glimpse of and it seems like it might be Game of Thrones. Big, huge, number one fan of Game of Thrones. Let's go check it out. That's a good photo op. Look at that, you get to climb up there. We're taking that photo. Does it look like I'm riding him or? <laughs> no? A little bit. They have a big old camera set up and it takes your photo and you can send it to your social media. I think you can send it to your Twitter and your Facebook. Because honestly, one of the problems with these like social media Instagram spots is if you're here alone, who's gonna take your photo? If you're here with a group and you want a group photo, who's gonna take the photo? But now they, they got a covered over there. I'm you, just, I'm reminiscing on a simpler time back before everybody hated the final season of Game of Thrones. Do you need the creator set where you have uh, George R.R. R. Martin and the creators of Game of Thrones? Yeah, why not? And over in the corner, they have a little bit of Stranger Things. They have Eleven and the Demigorgon. They also have this Rick and Morty photo op. If you're riding inside his spaceship. Don't go lurking in the gutters over here. They've got Pennywise from It. We've got Slimer in here. Look at this coffin full of Pennywise dolls. Oh. What was that? Looks like some kind of evil nun. I think this is who it was. It was the nun. I think I found Tatooine over here in the corner. Oh, we got a Jawa and little droid. I like that even the little corners of the doors are like a photo op. Like you, it's like a Star Wars. Oh my God, the cantina right around the corner. Who shot first, Peter or Greedo? I shot first. I love this little section, but I feel like, where's Max Rebo? <laughs> there is Boba Fett right behind you. I need, need this. No prices on anything in here. Yeah, the store doesn't open for another like, week. Yeah, it's not open yet, but oh my goodness, you guys. The dream team right here, Salacious and Java. This is pretty good too. Oh, it's a full-size version of the thing I just sat in. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, this is basically you and Greedo. What does that sign say in Arabesh? Leave it in the comments below. I was looking at the Star Wars shelf, and then I realized something. It's a, it, it, it is a sand crawler. It's oh, a yeah. sand crawler. And if you actually look up there, you can actually see Jawas at the helm of the sand crawler. Found R2-D2 and C-3PO. I was worried. I was like, where are my guys at? They're chilling out here. They're not allowed in the cantina over there, but. Yeah, they're right out front keeping guard. 
There's all sorts of stormtroopers around. I gotta get out of here. Excuse me, sir. Do you know those two droids over there? Those are not the droids you're looking for. I've noticed that they hide the Funko crowns all over the store, so it's kind of like a game to try to find them. Some of them are a little bit more obvious than others, and some are a little bit more hidden. So I wonder how many there are so you can play this game and try to find all the crowns. I built the store. Oh, you built the store? Yes. How many crowns are there? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm here to tell you officially, as soon as somebody comes up with a count, that'll be the number. So you gotta find the one in this Star Wars area. Can you do it? Where is it? Did you find it already? I don't see it. Found it! <laughs> so the cool thing about this Dr. Who TARDIS is, is it's bigger on the inside. What the heck? I don't think this can be open during store hours. full of crowns. Nailed it. Well, this room is a hidden room, so it makes sense. Here's another room that has fun codes that I don't even understand. Are these like anime? What is going on here? Yeah, I think this is an anime room. So yeah. let, let's go see. We're gonna now step inside the giant TV set. I love that they have Frankenberry and Count Chocula and what is that guy over there? Do you know that guy's name? Blueberry? Oh, it might be Blueberry. Is that one of them? Yabba dabba do, step on him, friends. We found the Kool-Aid man. This room is honestly one of my favorites so far. So many throwbacks in here. Oh yeah! Oh, they got a Twinkie! You can buy the little version right here. They've got a giant life-size Chester Cheeto with a giant bag of Cheetos. And I Marvin the Martian. How can you forget? I, I didn't know that I wanted this until now in my life. It's a limited edition. Doesn't open. If only there was gigantic Pez inside. I tried. I found it, the Hollywood exclusive Hollywood Freddy. He has a, a star on the Walk of Fame. I didn't realize all of these are exclusive. So they have a Marilyn Monroe. It's only sold in the Hollywood store. They also have a big boy with Ray-Ban sunglasses. Also sold at the Hollywood store. And they have Wonder Woman with a Funko Hollywood bag. We know that they're limited edition and only available at the store, but we don't know how many there are. So like how limited edition, unclear. We found Andy's bedroom. The Claw. The Claw. We've got Buzz Lightyear up there. In the movie, Andy's books are a Easter egg for the previous Pixar films. And between Andy's books, you can get some Pixar fun covers. This is like the whole Disney area, and it kind of feels like you're walking down Main Street or something. I get that vibe. Everywhere you turn, there's a different Disney character. Goofy, I want a slice of cheese pizza. In case you wanted makeup, they also sell makeup here. I think they're up there watching you. Oh. Hey guys. Another cool thing I just learned that if yeah. you've been to the Seattle location, completely different. There is not a character or location that is the same at this location 
as the Seattle location, so you get completely new photo ops. We have entered the pop factory, and this isn't available right now, but you're gonna be able to create your own pop here. Can't wait, we're gonna have to come back and do it. Yeah, we're gonna have to create ordinary adventure Peter and Kitra pops. Oh, great idea. Stay tuned, we're totally gonna do it. They're gonna make a ton of money off this. This store is much bigger than I could have ever imagined. There's just like so many things to get photos with. I like get here, it opens, what time? November 18th, you don't wanna miss it. This place is incredible. If you wanna see more of our stuff, what should they do? You should subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, you know what to do. Yes, and uh, if you want to see our other, our previous adventures, click above. Check we have some out. videos there for you. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the, on the next, next adventure. Bye, everyone.